And I think we're about to go live. Okay, I believe we're live. Yeah, okay, cool. Well, hey everyone, this is Andrew from Elite Marketing Pro and AttractionMarketing.com. And I have a very special guest with me here today. If you have been perhaps living in a cave, and if so, kudos, then, uh, then maybe you haven't heard that we are doing our annual Black Friday event, which we were all very excited about here at Elite Marketing Pro. And what's really exciting about this promotion, beyond, of course, the training, which is put together by Wit and Carrie Hyam, they're going to be delivering uh, content live for us. I believe it's the day after. Uh, I believe it's uh, um, actually, you know what? You're just going to have to check out the, uh, the sales page, which is elitemarketingpro.com forward slash SME for all the details. But they're going to be putting together some awesome training to show you guys how you can build your business the right way using social media. Now, what's really cool about that, again, beyond just the uh, training itself, is that we are putting this together to support a really great cause, which is Heifer International. And this is, gosh, how, how many years have we been supporting Heifer? I, I, I forget now, it's, uh, is this our third year? Okay, awesome. So this is our third year supporting Heifer. And during that time, we've supported Bangladesh. And now we are currently supporting their efforts in Nepal and to help us learn more about really what that means and the impact that uh, our contributions can have to Heifer's mission, we have Jackie Dunn, our representative from Heifer International, who is going to be sharing with us uh, some really cool stuff. Uh, she's put together some slides. We've actually got a couple of video clips that will really kind of give you that on the ground kind of view of what Heifer does in these communities. And it's very much in alignment with our vision here at Elite Marketing Pro. We're all about, of course, empowering entrepreneurs, and that is what uh, Heifer does. So thanks so much for being here, Jackie. I really appreciate it. And I'm really looking yeah. forward to diving in. Yeah, it's my pleasure to be here. Um, my third year to do this. And um, you know, each year it seems like it's it gets more exciting, Andrew. Um, I know that we're exceedingly grateful for Elite Marketing Pro's uh, support, truly. And everyone in the community there makes a huge difference in how we can do the work in Nepal. Um, you know, Heifer has been, uh, this is our 75th year. Uh, it's a big deal. And um, not many organizations uh, can say that they've been around for 75 years, but we have. And we've been working in Nepal for 22 of those years, making a huge difference for people. At first, it was a, a lot of smaller projects, but we've really scaled things up. And uh, what I want to do today is just do a, a quick um, PowerPoint that gives us some details, a little bit of background about Heifer, um, you know, what our mission is, that sort of thing, and then uh, show you some images, but also a couple of video clips. Uh, I wish we could all be magically transported in Nepal, me included, um, but uh, maybe this will give you a sense of... Um, of the people and the place and the work and the need. So um, let me just flip over here. I'm going to try to share with you and um, bear with me here. I was an art major. So <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, I can tell you that, um, you know, we are, are, um, are very grateful um, for what Elite Marketing Pro has um been able to do what you guys have accomplished. And so let me just roll through the slides here um, quickly. Um, our mission is to end hunger and poverty while caring for the earth. And while that sounds like a lofty mission, it really, there's a lot of tangible things that Heifer does. Uh, it's really important for us to um, strive to do that and to empower people to take that um, into their own hands. Um, we believe that small farms are the, fee, the key to feeding communities. And uh, the farmers we work with are all small scale farmers. There are no large farms, no um, corporate farms. Um, we do work indirectly in, uh, with some corporations to help our farmers get their commodities um, to have a higher price and get to market. But um, overall, it's all about individuals, families, and small communities that are in poverty. But while caring for the earth, 
piece um, really addresses how we integrate our approach to our work as it relates to climate change. So um, we're doing things such as um, integrating uh, biodynamic uh, and um, organic methodologies in our farming and where there are animals involved, we look at using animal byproduct, we all know what that is, <laughs> and uh, turning it into um, something good for um, fertilization and uh, to maybe create some biofuels depending on the community. Um, we started in 1944 and Dan West is the founder. Um, he was doing work in another country in a war zone and was handing out cups of milk and had the epiphany, these people don't need a cup, they need a cow. We need a sustainable source of um, nutrition. And so that's how Heifer started. Actually, a couple of weeks ago, I was in Pennsylvania and visited with a gentleman who is 97 years old. There were people who actually got on ships here in the United States. People, individuals and families donated cows at the time, back in, you know, 75 years ago. And they put them on ships and shipped them across the Atlantic um, to people in other countries. And that's how Heifer started. Uh, we discontinued that practice uh, several decades ago, but initially that's how it started. And the 97-year-old, uh, we call him a seagoing cowboy, uh, has tales to tell, and um, we're grateful for how they started the organization. It's made a huge difference for millions and millions of people over time. Um, one of the, well, the essence of what we do integrates our 12 cornerstones, and you can see for yourself, passing on the gift, accountability, sharing and caring, sustainability, improved animal management, nutrition and income, gender and family focus, genuine need and justice, improving the environment, full participation, training and education, and the spiritual component. Um, and at, this is at the heart of everything we do. Um, when people are agree to participate in the program with Heifer, and they have to be in a very, very um, low, poor in, low income and very poor community, um, they have to agree to uh, embrace these cornerstones and to go through our training, and it's a process. And after you know nine months to a year, then they're actually fully fledged into the, the program and would be given um, animals or crops or um, other seeds and different things to um, fulfill uh, their mission to improve their lives. Um, this is where we work. It's not the best map on the planet, but it is, it is on our website. And we're currently working in 21 countries. When Heifer, even like 10 years ago, there were over a thousand projects. We've scaled that back significantly because what we're doing is we're actually focusing more intently and we're scaling up the projects where we're working. We have a, a group um, within our organization called Mission Effectiveness. And what their um, charge is, um, is to evaluate the work that we do and then take that work and integrate it into another community or another um, country, making cultural adjustments. Uh, and we figure out what works and what doesn't. If there's something that doesn't, we make adjustments and, and fine tune what we're doing. So we wanna make sure that we have impact. Um, we're really about giving people a hand up, not a handout. And so uh, by empowering the people, it makes a difference. And as we go about our work, um, we are, as I said, very strategically focused. Um, basically we look at our model ABC, which is kind of a very simple way to explain it. Uh, the A group are the people that are the very first people that would be encountered in a heifer project. And they're the most vulnerable and marginalized tongue twisters. And um, these are people who have little of nothing, um, but they're willing to try and they want to have the opportunity for themselves and their family. And as they move along in the process, the B group is where they've actually got to the stage now where they have some income, they can feed themselves, they can even use surplus to send their kids to school or buy supplies. And then the C is the resilient, sustainable group, the people that have really sort of graduated, if you will, and they're the true leaders um, and people that we can learn from um, in addition to be very proud of. Um, I won't go into all the detail here, but we have specific outcomes that include increased income asset, food security, nutrition, and environment. 
multiply that times women's empowerment. Basically, we're finding that women um, have the greatest drive to get their families fed and have a roof over their heads. And um, then we add social capital, which gives them some equality and others in their family equality and uh, and also helps uh, structurally improve the community. We don't impose um, American, if you will, um, societal or cultural um, norms on the communities we work with them. They actually sit down and help us plan what we do um, it, within the confines of our overall infrastructure. And it's a, it's a win-win uh, for them and also for the people who support the organization. Um, you guys are supporting Heifer Nepal. We are most grateful for that. It's a fantastic and fascinating country. I uh, wanted to give you, I mean, you all probably know where Nepal is, but basically it's on the, you know, the northern most border of India and um, abuts China. And it's, all of us think of Nepal and that area, the Himalayas is this magical, mystical place. And it is. And um, the people there are, many of whom are very, very poor, um, but they're also um, very driven, especially the women. Um I think we talked about this last year, but I want to reinforce it that um, Nepal has had some natural disasters that have impacted the country. Uh, in 2015, there were two earthquakes that were really devastating. And then in 2017 and earlier this year, there were severe floods. And these floods affect uh, not only the people's lives and the infrastructure and uh, the you know sanit sanitation, that sort of thing, um, but it affects um, people's psyche. It also affects their food sources because a big part of where this has happened is the plains area in the southern part of the, the country. And as a result, um, their food supply uh, could be facing a shortage. So our, it's really mission critical for us uh, to make sure. We don't do um, disaster relief per se, but when our communities are affected by disasters, we absolutely do step in. We wanna make sure that they have the basics, that they're safe, um, if there are issues with any animals that might have been placed there to help with that. Uh, we do this in any and all country where we work and in the communities where we work. Um, this is an example of a group of people who were affected by the floods and they are, um, you know, in that early A group, um, but a lot of children, a lot of women. And uh, again, we uh, have had great success with women in Nepal. Um, they have really taken it and run with it and have made incredible strides. Um, and so empowering women and girls really strengthens their families and their communities. Uh, these are some statistics about it, basically eliminating the barriers um, and looking at how women spend their earned income. They spend it on their families. Um, and also girls have a better opportunity to be, become educated, which is important um, for their uh, families' futures. And this is a woman who was... Um, who's in Nepal and she started out with one goat. And as you can see, she has a buck and she's got a doe and, and she has a, um, a young goat. And part of what we do is something called passing on the gift. I think we talked about this before, but it's one of our, the essence is one of our cornerstones um, because we want to teach people how important sharing and caring are and in terms of values. And so um this woman also, her family uh, built the shelter. Uh, we teach people how to create those shelters. In some of these environments, um, there are a lot of predator animals and people. Um, and so the goats are not uh, pinned up at all times, but there are certain times of day they're let out to graze with someone with them um, because they are such precious um, assets, if you will to the people um, that receive the goats and um, they don't want to take a, take a chance at losing them. Um, so um, passing on the gift, like I said, is one of our um, key um, cornerstones. And I've got a little video here. Let me hit this for you and um, let's get this going. It's passing on the gift in Nepal. Thank you. 
So what you just saw, if you look at it at its face value, it looks like a bunch of people walking down a path. But when you what you really saw was people celebrating the success of the first animal that was um, born to give to their neighbor. And so that's basically what passing on the gift is. Um, the purpose is, again, to teach people how to share and care, but it also multiplies um, the value of anyone's support for heifer by, we're estimating nine times. I would say maybe a little more than that, but that's the official statistic. Um, and I don't know if you noticed in the video, but toward the end, there was a person who had a piece of paper sort of standing and they were passing on the animal. The person who takes the new goat, the young goat, it's their job to agree to uh, care for the animal and to follow the process. Um, and they've already gone through the training. They aren't just given the animal right off the cuff. They're, they're absolutely expected to know what they're doing. Um, one of the things we do in these communities is we also have people who train to be uh, veterinary technicians. They're not veterinarians, but they have some basic skills in terms of um, doing some things beyond something your average person would be able to do. So that's an important component of our work as well. Uh, we are greatly um, appreciative of the work that Elite Marketing Pro and you guys are doing. Uh, the farmers there are really seeing some great success. I wanna share a couple of stories with you. Uh, these are very recent. Um, this is um, a picture of people at market. And I think I showed this picture last year, but we've added a new layer to this, which is really exciting. Um, we have partnered with, um, it's an online trading platform. So it's like a B2B process and a business to business process. And so people can actually look at the animals online and start doing some trading, which isn't something that we were doing before. And you'd think in a country like Nepal that that might not be something that would happen, but it is. And it's actually helping us scale up the work and uh, give more opportunity to the farmers there um, as they raise their goats um, and take it to new markets. Um, we also have expanded our cooperatives and set them up as more of a business hub. Before, it was really a way for people to bond together and to uh, learn from each other and um, you know, share information, that sort of thing. But now it's really expanded beyond that, especially toward the access to market here, uh, animal insurance, finance, we do um, village savings and loans where people actually pool their monies and um, loan to each other. We've had great success with that. Um, it's important for the animals to be able to eat the right um, fodder and forage. And so people are trained on how to grow it. And again, to the veterinary services that I mentioned, um, this person, I don't know for sure if he is a tech or if he's a veterinarian, but regardless, we make sure that there are people in the communities that can help animals that need uh, veterinary care. Um, so, you know, this is basically what it's all about in terms of a person taking that step forward to a new life, toward a living income for them and their families. Um, people in these countries live on such small amounts of money. Um, it's absolutely mind boggling how little they have to begin with. But then it's our goal to help them take that first step and to position them for success. And you guys are part of that. You make a huge difference through your support and, um, and telling others about the work that Heifer does. Even if the individuals that you know are not interested specifically in Nepal, there are other countries where we work in Asia and Africa, Latin America, and we do work in the United States uh, to some extent. Um, it's a very heavily, uh, probably heavily focused on um, co-ops and organic, uh, small organic uh, farmers and CSAs. And it's been really successful to the point where our CSAs have graduated and they're gone, they've gone to a bigger market. So that's, that's a good thing. Um, your, our partnership with you really makes a difference in Nepal. And I wish again, that we could all go there and you could actually see for yourselves um, how impactful our work is, but also your support, because we cannot do it without you at all. So I want to end. Um, oh, sorry, one more. This is the most important thing for you guys, uh, to some extent. Um, 
This is a snap from today's um, online page. And Andrew has set a lofty goal of 200,000 and you're at $134,439, which is 67% of the goal. And it's all going to Heifer Nepal, our work in Nepal. So um, I will invite you to go to that. And I'm sure Andrew can send that or post that link for you guys to have access to, for those of you who are not familiar. But um, it is um, helpful to you, I think, to take a look at it, at least initially, and get a feel for what's going on. Um, and then I'm going to end here with um, one last slide. Together we have power over poverty. I want to show you this video. This is just hot off the press here, if you will, um, celebrating our 75th. The only way to create a world without hunger and poverty is to support those who are hungry to create their own success. When you support Heifer International, you don't just give someone a chicken, a goat, or a cow. You give birth to someone's business. You promote women into positions of leadership, and you create opportunities where there were none before. You can end hunger and poverty worldwide by investing in a new breed of success. Thank you. All right. I love it. Thank you so much for sharing. So for everyone, if you want to learn more about what we're doing specifically for this year's Black Friday offer, go to EliteMarketingPro.com forward slash S-M-E. It's EliteMarketingPro.com forward slash S-M-E. You'll learn all about this year's Black Friday promo. And someone, uh, I actually can't see your comments on, on Facebook at the moment, but I'm sure someone from our community can uh, can paste that link and make it easy for uh, for folks to click. Because what you learn about is how we have partnered up with uh, Heifer and our number one affiliates here at Elite Marketing Pro to put together a really awesome training for you guys. And uh, we're really excited about it. Wouldn't carry high. A lot of you in the community know them. Uh, really, they've, they've come together. And I mean, we are uh, basically the way this works is if you refer someone to our Black Friday training this year, uh, you will uh, take a portion of the proceeds and then the rest goes to Heifer minus some administrative costs. So really, it's, um, you know, this is something that Witten Carey, uh, Hyam and Elite Marketing Pro we really look forward to. You know, this is not something that, you know, we make any money on. This is something where all the proceeds, all the profits from this are going to anyone who refers and also to Heifer. So it's really split between uh, you guys. So it's a really a, a combination of uh, benefit for our community and of course for Heifer and the impact they're making communities all around the world. And of course, specifically for Nepal, uh, in the case of that's where our contributions are specifically going. So we're really excited. Uh, we've put together some awesome training for you guys. I highly recommend to check it out. Uh, it's at a really steep discount uh, until uh, I believe uh, Black Friday. You've got, uh, you know, how many days? <laughs> you've got about a week. You know, you've got, uh, I guess a week and, uh, in a day to uh, to snatch your copy of the uh, Black Friday training uh, from this year. Again, EliteMarketingPro.com forward slash SME. You can learn all about it, learn all about the training and learn more about, of course, you guys just learned a ton about Heifer, but you can learn a little bit more about the specifics of uh, this promo and how it uh, specifically benefits Heifer. You'll see all the details there on that page. But Jackie, I really uh, wanna thank you for coming and really helping to, of course, um, you know, illustrate just how impactful this is and, and how, again, this really is so in alignment uh, with what we do here at Elite Marketing Pro. Again, we are all about empowering entrepreneurs. And that is that is really, I mean, that's the foundation of what Heifer is doing in these communities is they're going in and they're creating entrepreneurs. So we love it. I mean, we look forward to our Black Friday promo every single year. And we love, uh, you know, we always have a representative from Heifer as well come out to our No Excuses Summit and uh, which is actually being rebranded next year. I, I forget what the name is, but, um, but anyway, we, we love seeing the presentations. We love seeing uh, the impact this is having uh, in communities all around the world. And so uh, again, you know, much appreciation for everything that you guys do at Heifer. We just think it's absolutely tremendous and we couldn't be more honored to support you guys. Yeah, we are most grateful and uh, proud that Elite Marketing Pro has chosen Heifer um, to support. And I can honestly say um, that 
um, I do, I'm, I'm aware of the gifts that, you know, the, the profit percentage that comes through um, and it goes directly to the programs in Nepal. And um, the people there I know are most grateful. I have colleagues, I have personally have not visited Nepal. It's on the short list, right? But um, I have colleagues who have, and our CEO has, and actually he's gonna be visiting with TJ and some others uh, next month. And we may have some um, exciting video from that too. Um, but, um, you know, it's from what I understand, and I have been to other countries, just not that one specifically, but um, it is heartbreaking to see the people in the A group. But when you see the transformation, it's, um, it's incredible and uh, making a huge difference uh, in a place that uh, is, has great need. It's one of the poorest countries in the world. So um, thank you for choosing Nepal. Thank you for choosing Heifer. And thank you all for anything and everything that you choose to do uh, on our behalf. Yeah, that's awesome. And I mean, again, uh, this is something Jackie mentioned earlier. This is the 75th anniversary uh, for Heifer and they've been in Nepal for over 20 years. And so this really is a, a proven model where they've gone into so many communities and transformed so many lives. And so I really want to encourage you, if you want to learn more about it, uh, by all means, uh, check out our, uh, our sales page at EliteMarketingPro.com forward slash SME. You can learn all about what we've put together and uh, you can learn more about uh, Heifer and specifically how uh, this uh, this special promo we're doing uh, that we do every year, but uh, but it's different every year. We do, we partner up with a uh, a different uh, content provider to really bring you guys some cutting edge training. And, and again, we do it all uh, to support our community and and Heifer. So it's um, it is a, a, a charitable uh, cause uh, exclusively uh, from our perspective. Uh, we just really want to uh, to support you guys, and we want to support Heifer's mission. And so check it out again, one last time, elitemarketingpro.com forward slash SME. Please head over there and learn all about what we're doing uh, this year. And uh, Jackie, again, thanks so much for your time. Really Thank appreciate you. it. And, uh, and we will look forward to uh, being in touch. She gave away a little, uh, this is something, it's, it's already sold out. So if you're, if you're hearing about this now, uh, unfortunately we will not be able to accommodate uh, any additional attendees at our upcoming workshop, but there's a very special guest who will be uh, joining uh, one of our uh, workshops here in the very near future. Uh, but we will have, uh, or at least fingers crossed, I'm going to do everything in my power to get some video uh, from, uh, from, from this occasion uh, so that we can share that uh, with you guys. And we're very much looking forward to when we're on the other side of the promo and uh, hopefully we're hitting our lofty goals uh, that we've set for ourselves for uh, for this year's promo and of course we will keep you guys uh, updated uh, I think daily I think we're going to keep you guys updated daily on uh, on where we're at but uh, stay tuned uh, stay plugged into the community and uh, thanks so much again everyone we'll talk to you guys soon thank you